All right, we're live. Welcome, 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 everybody to WGCP, Wednesday's Groove Copy Pro, <laughs> with your hosts, Mike Fulsame and John Benson. All right, so, John, how are you today? Good to see you. I'm doing good, brother. How are you doing? Doing good. This is our very, very first Groove Copy copy pro Wednesdays. And so uh, let us let you know what this is about. You're either watching this in uh, on Facebook or on YouTube. And John and I <clears throat> have committed to uh, train doing copywriting training free to the world brought to you by Groove Copy Pro every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And that's it. We're going to be showing up um, there. There's going to be uh, John and I 90 percent of the time. When we're traveling, John may do it when I can't, or I'll do it when John can't. And for any crazy reason, if a holiday you know ends up on a Wednesday, we'll move it to a Thursday, or we might skip it for a week. But you can count on uh, seeing John Benson, one of the best. Well, first of all, let me let me introduce John Benson to you because this is not a webinar <clears throat> that you have registered for. We're just showing up in your feed and yeah. click. Yeah. You're wondering what's going on, so. Um, folks, there's, uh, there's a presentation that I just did the other day, John, uh, at, uh, at an event called monetized traffic. I was in Orlando <clears throat> and I said that groove funnels, click funnels, lead pages, optimized press have all been the death of direct response copywriting. Hmm. And I believe that I believe that it made it so easy that, uh, people like you and me, when we first got started, we started on a blank page in Dreamweaver or mm -hmm. Microsoft front page or, 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 or a Word document or whatever it was back then. And we didn't know what to write. And without having a template like ClickFunnels and GrooveFunnels, we had to learn. It was the best thing that ever happened to us because we learned from uh, Gary Halbert, Dan Kennedy. Mm -hmm. We've read books like Rob Call Your Letter Book. We've read books on psychology. And we we created a craft. And for me, I became a marketer. You're a copywriter. But um, <clears throat> just to get on what I was saying at that event was that when you get a template from ClickFunnels or you get a template from GrooveFunnels, you go in and you say, that looks pretty good. I like this darker blue one compared to this green one. It fits my brand better. Right. But what ends up happening is we fill in the blanks. Put your headline here. Well, mm -hmm. whatever happened to having a pre-headline? Whatever happened to having a subheadline? Whatever right. happened to putting things into quotes? This mm -hmm. one doesn't have any bullet points, so we don't add bullet points. Or mm -hmm. this template forgot the guarantee. Or the no thanks link simply says, no thanks, I'll pass on this offer. Instead of saying, no thanks, I don't like, uh, you know, I don't like learning from experts. I'd rather <laughs> do this, on, right? And right. so these are the things when you started from blank, you had to understand direct, uh, direct marketing uh, right. and copywriting. And, and today I think it made mm -hmm. people lazy. And that's what you and I are here to do is to save the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, John Benson, uh, John, I'm going to, I'm going to let you um, give your, your bio. And if I feel that you're, you're not, uh, you're being a little bit too humble, I'll come in and, and, uh, and, and, and clean it up a little bit, but, but, uh, but folks, I'll just start it like this. John uh, <clears throat> is considered today the greatest living copywriter for uh, digital marketing uh, products. He uh, he's probably uh, sold more for his clients in ClickBank than any other copywriter. Uh, very very expensive to work with him. He's the person that's created the VSL. The term VSL stands for Video Sales Letter. Before John, we were all doing it on uh, long form sales that are on a page, and John created the Video Sales Letter. But John, you, that, those are some mm -hmm. high points. But uh, touch a little bit upon your story so people know why they should be listening to you. Oh, thanks, Mike. Uh, the, the bottom line is I started as a marketer like so many people on this view, on the, watching us right now. They're, they're just marketing their own product. So I wasn't a professional marketer in the sense that Mike is. I, I was just a guy that wrote a book. I wrote a book in the fitness space and I had no idea what to do with it. And if you're in that similar situation, believe me, I can feel for you. But so I, I, I basically became a copywriter by happenstance. It was just going through the, the, what the, what I had to do to market my second book, my first book was marketed by somebody else. So I didn't have to worry about it. My second book wasn't. 
and the sales page I wrote for it sucked. It was terrible. And so I basically came up with an idea on how to force people to watch every word of a sales letter. And that was the video sales letter. That's became the BSL. And that just kind of changed everything, changed the trajectory of my life from being a guy that writes in the fitness and, and health space to the guy, to a guy that's a full-time copywriter, which was quite a, quite a leap. So I never imagined I would make that leap. So, uh, but, but it just became such a passion for me. And then I figured out how to teach it very well. And then finally figured out how to write software that does this. And we were the very first copywriting software that I'm aware of. There might've been somebody like very small before us, but with a um, long time ago with a product called Celerator, which is now called now VSL. And then later on with copypro.ai, we were one of the very first people into the uh, first groups into the AI world. And, uh, and we're still doing that. We're still working on integrating what I call humanistic AI, not AI that's just scraping stuff from a web and, and, and all that stuff. But, but so so that all led us to here into our partnership with Mike and Groove Copy Pro, which is just a lot of fun. So that is pretty much my caught you up to speed here the last 15 years of my life. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, folks, um, John is the legend. You know, he's the Batman. I'm the Robin along for these rides. Uh, you know, I'll be doing a little common, a color commentary, but John's going to be leading the way. This is, this is, uh, his dance and, uh, I'm the dance partner. So, uh, every, every month, every week, as we said, we're going to go for an hour. So we just spent about good seven minutes uh, doing a little intro. Usually we're going to jump right in and, uh, but we wanted to let you know a little bit of what you're going to be expecting every Wednesday. If you miss it, don't worry. It's right here on YouTube live. Uh, it'll be turned into, onto YouTube, uh, and you'll be able to find it in uh, the Facebook group for Copy Pro, the Facebook group for for Groove.cm, our official group. Uh, you'll be able to find all the replays there. We're also going to be putting up a website where you could sign up to get notifications, emails, stuff like that. Um, we're we're looking to build this where we can get thousands of people watching uh, every single week. We think it's going to be a great class. So today, uh, John, uh, I believe you said we're going to be talking about uh, verbs, uh, <laughs> verbs that sell. What, what, uh, talk to verbs us about that. Sell. Well, what we wanted to do is show Groove Copy Pro in action. And I'm going to just dive right into this and show you how I can create a funnel. And now that I've got my, my Groove Copy Pro account set up, which took me about 45 minutes to do. Now, granted, I can type fast and I, I know my market really well. So it might take you 90 minutes to do it if you have to go a little bit slower. But I just set up my what's called a quick start and I have my all the copy I need for what we call a hyper funnel, which is just a, fun, a very fast funnel is all that means. A funnel that can get you up and going very, very fast. A funnel would include a sales page, ads, some emails, some promotional emails, even a sales letter, the whole nine yard. I mean, it, it's pretty cool to get that done this fast from Groove Copy Pro. So I'm going to generate it right in front of you. I'm not going to pull up something I've already generated, but from that funnel over the next few weeks and po probably over the next few months, we're going to be dissecting the parts of that funnel, what makes it work. And I thought it would be interesting is to dive into something that you could use today, no matter what, if you have group copy pros, can make it easier. If you don't, you can still use what I'm talking about today. And that is simply by changing the, the a verb that you were using a verb in a goal, a verb in a complaint, a verb in a subject line. We're going to show you those three things. You can change a, a copy from being lame to dynamic, from being absolutely ignorable to being unignorable, which is our goal. We want to help make you unignorable. So if you're interested in that, you're going to see how easy it is to do that with just changing one word. So why not start easy, but also kind of show you what Groove Copy Pro can do at the same time? And that's my plan, Mike. That's, that's the dastardly plan, if that's okay with everybody. I think I was on mute. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's go for it. So you're going to share your screen and we'll jump right yeah, in. I'll, I'll share the screen here. Let me pop over to Groove and make sure I'm up here and I will share that screen. And let's make sure that I probably and while you're doing that, John, I'm going to read some of the comments here while you're getting your screen ready. Oh, my goodness. We've got a ton of comments. Um, good evening from Israel, says uh, Omri. Perfect timing. Uh, thank you, uh, John Benson and Mike. Awesome. Uh, let's see over here. We have, I'm so excited. Thank you, John and Mike for doing these sessions. Uh, I agree. Somebody says perfect timing and, uh, let's see. It's a lot of good evening. Happy groove copy pro Wednesday, everyone, uh, here and there. Yeah. So, uh, everybody's just excited. This is golden info and, uh, that's Denise. And then we have one more from Freddie says ready to learn. All right, let's rock and roll. Awesome. Um, so can you see my screen? Okay, Mike. 
Uh, let me add your screen to the screen. Uh, I'm new. I'm new to producing. I'm usually at the studio, yeah. uh, and everybody yeah. saw. I now know how to do that. All right, John, um, go for it. Awesome. So what you're going to see when you log into Groove Copy Pro for the first time is you're going to see a message up here. It says, do you want our copywriting pros to set up Copy Pro for you? Uh, the answer to that it may, may be yes. In other words, do you want us to set up the niche that I'm going to show you, the data inside of this that, that is basically your quick start? In other words, uh, do you want us to take that off of your hands for you? If so, just click this, tell me more and sign up. So you'll see that and you can close that out. Of course, you can close out anytime. So here's your our very basic interface. We wanted to make something so baby simple that it's really hard to, to get lost or know what to do. So I'm going to just come in here and say, I want to create a hyper funnel. So I'm going to scroll right down here to turnkey hyper funnels and click my search bar. And I'm going to create, well, there's there's several I can create here, but what I'm going to do is create, uh, let's, I can get the mega hyper funnel that will give me upsells and everything. So let me do that one. That's the full Monty. I mean, so that one requires a little bit more work because it has two upsell videos. It has order bumps and things like that. And I'm going to use, come here, start my project. I'm going to say uh, Groove Copy Pro hyper funnel. And I've already prepared my Groove Copy Pro niche ahead of time, but in case I didn't, I'd go here into a quick start niche and I'd scroll down. As you can see, we have a lot of them in here. So you can just pick this and this will save you right here at least 30, 45 minutes of time and take a lot of the marketing heavy lifting off of your shoulders. And again, if you if, if your niche isn't in here, we'll build it for you. Just contact us about that. But so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to choose one of my own that I've already created. So Groove. CP hyperfunnel canceled out of that mis mistakes mistake click next go over here and select my groove copy pro funnel and hit finish now this is going to build in about five to 15 minutes so it's going to take us a little bit of time to build this it usually builds to be honest with you in five minutes because it's building an entire funnel in the background so while it's building an entire funnel in the background, I'm just going to have a look at the projects I've already got done. And I'll just give you some really quick, easy to easy to look at for email stuff. So we'll go in here and look at this as a demo. So right here, I'm going to take this sentence right here, right? This is your chance to finally generate copy, te copy templates proven to sell. I mean, that's basically what we're doing inside of here for Copy Pro. Hey, well, this is a, your chance to, to do something with copy. Three copywriting tricks for copywriters is closing down soon. So this is a gone, going, going, gone. I just opened any email. It could have been a long email, a short email, you name it. We could have gotten it, right? But I want you to look at this here. And I'm going to critique our own copy here for the sake of doing this, okay? Generate's not a bad verb. Generate copy templates proven to sell. Okay, let's say that I'm wanting to sell my offer here for Copy Pro, and I'm selling it to you. And I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to help you generate copy templates proven to sell. It's not bad, right? It's, it's, hey, John. It's not, not bad for copy, yeah. Uh, some of the people are asking if you can con control plus and uh, make your screen a little bit bigger. Okay, it is huge on my side. So is that is that big enough? It's, it's up to 175% now, so. Uh, yeah, that's a little better, yep. We can okay. see a little bit better now. Thank you. Okay. It's, okay. Is, do you, I can go up this high at 200%. Is that, is that good? I think when you're in the software, the, as long as it doesn't break the app, the bigger, the better. Okay. This is about as big as it can go before I start breaking things. So yeah, uh, yeah, that, that looks good. So, so let me do this. I'm going to remove the word generate. And I'm going to say, uh, create. Okay. So create copy templates proven to sell. Uh, create is a verb that most people would use, or how about even less than that? Let's go get. Get copy templates proven to sell. Now, what if I want to change this one word here to something that would stand out in so much so that you you can't unsee it, okay? So I want to teach this in a way that we're going to use Copy Pro. Then I'm going to use weight loss. Weight loss just is a lot easier because people can wrap their head around weight loss easier than they can wrap their head around software. I just opened the very first thing I could find. So I'm going to show this to you in a weight loss uh, niche here in a second. And then when we're we're about done, I'm going to get the email any second saying, hey, your, your project's ready. We can dive into Groove Copy Pro. But changing the verb, get copy templates proven to sell. What's a better way to say that? Now, we've given you a whole long list of verbs here, but instead of giving you saying, oh, you have to have the software, I'm going to teach you how I think about it. What I want to think about get is I want to think of the most visceral image heavy way I can say something. In other words, a verb that's impossible to ignore. Let me give you a couple examples not related to this. If I want to say burn fat, for example, a better way might be able to say torch fat 
or annihilate fat or demolish fat. You see where I'm using these words or these verbs are just coming at you like, wow, I can't unsee it, right? That is such a much more powerful way to, to, to illustrate what you're wanting someone to do. So if I come in here and go, what's a better verb than get? Mike, you want to play this game with me? So what's a better way of saying get copy templates proven to sell? What's what, what get what can we use that would con connote a feeling of like I can instantly have something or I can uh, discover? Okay, discover. That's that's always a that's always a good word. Discover. Um, what it's, there's some other words I want to use Let's here. See. So, okay, I was typing in the Skype group. So another word than get for get for templates that sell, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you what I would choose here. Okay, and I, I'm going to show you this. It's fun. Okay, so mm -hmm. what you're really doing is you're ethically stealing. Stealing. Now, let's look at that copy now. Now that you see this, I've changed just those two words, ethically stealing. So this is your chance to finally ethic well, it's ethically steal. I just typed it wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> that was my fault. Steal. So ethically steal. So hey, we, we, we don't make up for human error, guys. <laughs> so so here's your chance to finally ethically steal copy templates for So So I could put steal, like Mike was saying earlier, check this out, make it even better, and go ethically Steal. In quotes. In quotes. So I'm going to create that now. So I'm just creating more and more information, training the system so I can ethically steal. We just changed the tenor of the entire piece of copy. This is only a few, and now we're blown up really high, but this is only a few lines long. Ethically steal <laughs> means so much more. I mean, can you get that out of your mind? I mean, you can't help but picture somebody literally stealing something where if I said get or generate, as we said before, it works. But this is how you can take your copy right now and ratchet it up 10 points, 20 points on the score of copy awesomeness simply by changing one word. Now I changed get to ethically steal. And I could have just used steal, but I like ethically steal because we don't want to imply that you're literally stealing something. But this is a way to ethically steal the greatest copy templates ever written, which is true. That's exactly what we talk about because we have literally hundreds of the best copywriters in the world in here and you can ethically steal that copy. So this is just one of the many ways that we use verbs to make things really, really sing inside a copy. And that's something we can help you do on training. We do we do a lot of coaching for this, but also this is also in the video training that we have inside of here. So that's just one example. I'm going to pop over here and see if we've got our our hyper funnels generated here. Uh, we do indeed. It is ready, and I'm going to click on that and come over here, and it's going to open it up right here. So I got an email from us, and, and actually I got the email. Let's see what time is it now? It's twelve. So I got the email three minutes ago. So it's been up for a while. I'm going to beat back this down just a smidge and let me see if this is okay. Inside this hyper funnel, we are giving you instructions. Like here's exactly what you get and here's exactly what you do with it. So it's kind of very helpful. We don't just give you stuff. Here's your, excuse me, here's your Facebook ads. Here's your one minute lead capture VSL. So I'm, I'm ready to get leads here. I've already, I'm already ready to go. <laughs> so I don't have anything to do except in this case, cause I already filled out my niche I already. I already did the, the hard work, the hard work, which took me, like I said, about 45 minutes to do. Um, it might take you anywhere from let's, let's say it takes you two hours. Imagine spending two hours on something and then having a full funnel in front of you. Most people can do it a little faster than that. So I was able to do this in, in a couple of, and, and it's ready to go. Now, so all I have to do is literally copy this and boom, I can paste this right into uh, a VSL editor like Easy VSL. I can paste this and create a VSL and stick it right in my GrooveFunnels account, and I'm off to the races. So again, we're going to go into this training with verbs here. Now I can scroll down. I'm just showing you. All, I'm just showing you all this cool stuff you get for free. Like here, here you get this right here. You've got an opt-in page. All I got to do is just what is it? Is a quick start webinar. Uh, it's a, let's say, let's call it an ebook. That's all. It wanted me to save that as an ebook, so I'll save it. And now I've got an ebook. So there you go. Uh, so very simple stuff here. Okay. So I have to get, give a value to my bonus, et cetera. So I literally have seconds to do until I have all of this copy ready to go down in here. I want to get down to, to, the, to more of the promo stuff so we can do some of the, some of the verb trickery that I'm talking about here. Okay. Okay. Get down here to, let's go to this one right here. Okay. So right here, 
Remember, this will not only free you from your current struggle with low sales, but also give you the momentum you desperately need to up-level your copywriting skills. Yeah, that's not bad. Up-level your copywriting skills. Up-level is a pretty good, pretty decent verb, right? I didn't write this, by the way. Somebody else on my team wrote this, so I, I didn't write it. But uh, up-level, uh, not bad. I would probably hyphenate it, but up-level can be unhyphenated as well. But that's a use of a decent verb. Rather than, check up, check this out. Up-level, I was hoping it would, <laughs> the verb would kind of be bad. Dramatically increase take home profits, virtually stack conversions. And crank, oh, let's get you. Okay, granted, this is all written pretty well. <laughs> so, so it's it's going to be hard for me to up level the verb, so to say, but there's a way that we can do this. So I, I put dramatically increase in front of this verb. So dramatically increase take, take home profits. Okay. So I added the word dramatically. So, but what, why don't we make this one better? Why don't I choose this one and I'll make this one a little better? So rather than saying dramatically increase, what if we did this? increase take home profits by up to 340%. Now, I'm making this up. So don't think I'm trying to be literal here, but that made that piece of copy infinitely more valuable, infinitely more uh, uh more visceral. People can see this. Increase take home profits by up to 340%. So in other words, if you if I had which this is I don't have this in front of me, but if we had measured what our copy take rate is, our copy improvement is, we know the how much more it converts, but we don't have figures on how much the whole everyone in group copy pro has made more. We know that, but we don't know how much more. But let's say that I did have that data. Okay. So a mat, how much better is that than dramatically increase take home profits? It's a lot better. All I did was add specificity. So the two things we're talking about today, make your verbs juicy and add specificity. So if I wanted to make, if I wanted to say increase, how, what's a way to say increase, Mike, that is juicier, that is more visceral, that is more, that is more dynamic, that leaps out at you more. We're playing the game here. We're playing this game live here. There's no nets underneath this, by the way. None of us have prepared any. This is all live. So we wanted to show you, this is what we would do if we turned on a camera and we were working. So there's not anything prepared. And I think that's what you should see. I think you should see us doing exactly. I was on mute. Did. Didn't realize that. Yeah, How yeah. about uh, explode? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, explode. Okay. Okay. So explode. Now, what's interesting is if you go to thesaurus.com, which I want to do right now. And you type in increase. Now, there are better tools to use than thesaurus.com, but it's the one I remember the easiest, right? And you can scroll down here and just look at what are some other words I, we can use other than, okay? So you got raise, you got increase, you got build up, you've got, you know, but if you keep going down here, you'll probably find the word explode. Eventually, it'll, it, you'll, you'll find it. And if you can't find it, just do a little bit of creative searching. That, that's all we're asking you to do. So explode. explode. To, so if you think about something like you can't un unsee explode. You can unsee increase. That's what we're trying to say. Um, so that's a cool way that you can make your conversions instantly better, instantly more interesting if you do just what I'm talking about right here. Explode. John, I'm going to give, give a little plug for, you know, for um, 15 bucks. I think you can get it on Kindle for 10 bucks. Um, you've probably heard of it. It's called Words That Sell. Uh, mm, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a book called Words That Sell. It's um, it's basically a section of these different types of words. And then they it's kind of like a thesaurus from, for copywriters. Yeah. And uh, I have that book. I love it. I mm. actually have it over at the studio. And uh, it's a great thing for when you even see me get stuck, like when John says, what's a better word for get? And I was like, and, you know, when you said ethically steal, I was like, oh, my God, that's crazy. This book has has that ability for you to be able to find that you plug that right into the so software, too. That's what what we call John Wright wordsmithing. Right. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, adding another layer of as we would say in the car business, the clear coat on top of the, <laughs> on top of the paint yeah. that just yeah. really makes it shine, really makes it sing. And it's so important. All of these little things start adding up as opposed to get when you can have ethically steal. And when I see that, it, it reminds me of how, uh, when I heard you say that, that if people see that back on the replay, I literally smiled. I went, Oh my God, that's so brilliant. I just love those words. Yeah, what, what I would love to do, and, and without, okay, that, that book is an awesome book, by the way, but without using anything like thesaurus.com or, or, or any sort of book, I'd love to get some interaction if we can have live chat. I'm assuming that we can. Um, that love to hear what people uh, that are watching us can say. And I'll give you a sentence. Let me just pull up a different project here. I'm going to go into the weight loss niche.
Okay. So here's a weight loss and here's a, here's a direct response sales. And I just want to show you this. This is something we did. Um, just, this came out of Groove Copy Pro and I'm scrolling down here and this is an entire sales letter complete with the subheadlines, complete with the bullets. I mean, I didn't write this. This is something that this mm. that Copy Pro generated. Are you ready to trim your waistline and watch your fat pounds vanish and regain your high school body? I, that's pretty good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So take a look at what other things, how, how much, et cetera. So it, it, this is all completely done. Okay. Uh, In fact, all it's all, uh, John, as you said on the last webinar, it's not, it's not scraping uh, the web and yeah. coming up with some type of, it's, yeah. it's copywriting AI, artificial yeah. intelligence. It's based on yeah. your copywriting and things that were submitted by, uh, by me, by uh, mm -hmm. Ryan Dice, Perry Belcher, different marketers that gave you their their courses in different niches. And it's taking actual words, so it's not creating uh, a jumble. It's a it's a it's an exact structure. So um, yes, we're kind of jumping in, uh, you know, uh, in the copywriting and saying, hey, Groove Copy Pro, Groove Copy Pro. A couple of people are asking, how do they learn more about it? Obviously, folks, you can go to GrooveCopyPro.com. Mm -hmm. But I really recommend after we do this demonstration today, you go to GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay. John and I did a replay, to, uh, did a webinar two weeks ago. We have it up there. And that's where you could see the software in action. So if you have any questions about the software today, go to that webinar after it'll make more sense but essentially the way groove copy pro works is you go in and you create a pro profile for about 45 minutes to an hour and of course the team can help you do that if you want help you click a little button at the top of the software and once you fill out that profile then you can go in and you can say i want and then to uh create an email write a webinar uh do a checkout page um create a squeeze page whatever it is mm -hmm. for and then for my affiliates or for to sell my product and then it'll it'll export this out for you and then very little work needs to be done at that point so you'll notice that the copy is literally just exporting the text and then you take that and then you put that into your your groove pages exactly exactly and then you can modify the text that we've created when you download a, a niche um, we also, like I said, we also offer the service of creating your niche for a small additional fee. Uh, we'll create it with a professional copywriter doing it. And then you can edit that and add to that. We want you to, so you're training the AI versus having somebody you don't know training. You know what I'm saying? So that's a much better way to do it than, than, than what's going on right now. And yeah, there's some really cool stuff that we're also be coming out with. That's going to really help you as you go along. So, so this is just, I'm, I'm giving you like, like some ideas here just because we're watching we're, we're looking uh we're looking at words like trim your waistline down watch your fat pounds vanish uh which are, are not bad so this is the, this is a a relatively uh we know from writing in weight loss market a lot that, that we know that trim works we know uh you know, slim down works we we know certain verbs work so that's what that, that's what our team put in here right but i'm using this as an example and we're we'll using this as our, as our last example so if you look at trim your waistline down and watch your fat pounds vanish, that's one of the, the primary goals we're here. So that's something we're saying, trim your waistline down. What's another way of saying trim your waistline down that would be impossible to forget? And that's what we want to ask. And the one word we want to start with here, again, is just the verb. Just the verb. And again, you can scroll through our list of verbs, but we're doing this as a, as a fun copy exercise. So for you watching at home, Instead of me doing it, instead of Mike doing it, what's a better word than trim? What's a better way of saying this? I, I'm about you saying this any other way you want. I would love to hear what the people are saying. And then I, I want to show you how much easier is this than trying to write copy from scratch? Now, now, granted, we provide this stuff for you, so, but I'm trying to, to teach you in case you don't have the software. But you change this one thing and all the copy written around it is already done for you. All the hard stuff's already done for you. All you got to do is fill in these blanks even if you start from total scratch. So curious, Mike, I see what, what we're coming up with, uh, taking my juicy verbs uh, teaching here. So Tanya or Tanya, sorry, because I know it's said both ways, but I'm going to go with Tanya. Uh, mm -hmm. She said shrink. Uh, we have um, Lama says shrink. Okay. And let's see. Admire yourself in the mirror. Lean out. Oh, here's a nice one. Melt. Uh, Freddie says melt as well. Uh, we have uh, slim decrease, demolish, melt your waistline, hmm. obliterate, yep. and oh. shape. 
uh, and slender eyes we see here. Okay, let's look at this. Hey, Shrink Kathy Walls. Right off the bat, Tanya, or uh, I'm not sure if it's that's the pronunciation, but shrink your waistline better than trim your one. Okay, so trim, you kind of see it, right? But shrink, you absolutely, can't you see it in your mind? It, it, you can't, it's a, it's a verb that is visceral, meaning it's a verb that you can touch, feel, taste, you can see. So shrink is better. Shrink works much better, in, in my opinion. So, uh, so other words that work better, you don't like obliterate. You can't help but unsee this, right? So, <coughs> if I said obliterate, and, and I knew that I was going for like, let's say, uh, obliterate. So that one out. Obliterate. I'd say your stubborn fat. Or how about your most stubborn fat? So obliterate your most stubborn fat. I mean that you can, you know, that's pretty damn good. That's if I'm, if I'm using that, I'm paying attention to this, right? Right. I am. It, you start to obliterate your most stubborn fat, but you end up blank. Well, that's pretty darn good. Right. So that's the kind of stuff that we want to teach you to do. Like just think in terms of verbs. So just change just the verb. If you don't change anything else and you can make your copy that much better. And yes, of course, Groove Copy Pro really helps you do that. And as you can see, the stuff that we provide you with pretty good to start with. So you're not working from, uh, obviously you're working from a level copy here. So you're just tweaking things here and there, but for the stuff that you have on your own, we wanted to also give you tools that you can use with or without the software. And, and hopefully one day you'll, you'll say, oh, I've got to have the software. It just, it just makes total sense. But in case you don't have it right now, this is something you can use immediately. Great. John, I'm going to just answer a quick question and then I'm going to make another little statement about that. Uh, so uh, Ranil says uh, on the Webby a few weeks back, you mentioned that one day we can promote Groove Copy Pro as a Groove member. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You can um, go to GrooveCopyPro.com and just scroll down to the bottom of the page, like you see right here. And let me just make that a little bigger. And you will see right here, it says affiliate program. I know you can't see that all that, that well right here, but you see it says affiliate program. Just click that and that's how you join the affiliate program for Groove Copy Pro. So that is that. Go back to John's screen here. <clears throat> and remove that. And the last thing I just wanted to mention on that, um, uh, what we're going to do folks, uh, is we're going to try to save all the questions to the end for Groove Copy Pro, because, uh, what we don't want to do is make, uh, Groove Copy Wednesdays all about Groove Copy Pro. We want, as John just said, he mm -hmm. wants this to be something that highlights the software, but also show you how you can do this. If you don't have the software, we want okay. this to be on copywriting, how to, how to come up with ideas for bullets, how to come up with ideas for, for headlines. What is a headline? What's the purpose of a headline? What, what is a call to action? Mm -hmm. um, all those different types of things is what you can come to expect. We may be showcasing Groove Copy Pro, but we don't. So please understand, and, and I know we're probably gonna have to say this every week, but yeah. um, we don't want to make this a commercial uh, solely. We're always gonna say for more information, almost any question you have, you can go to GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay mm -hmm. and get that information. Um, because we don't want this to be a commercial. So we're going to get back to the content here and our team is going to instruct you for any questions. Just go to groovecopypro.com forward slash replay, or we'll take some questions at the end. Cool deal. Yeah. That, that, yeah. We wanted to give something away on a weekly basis that would not only, you know, build us, build some rapport among the people that are watching and us, but also of course, build some trust in seeing the software work. But I wanted to also make sure, and Mike did too, that the value that we give away can be a standalone value. You can take what I'm talking about today with the, the application of just changing one word can change the tenor of copy. Uh, it, it's, it's, I want you to really, really wrap that around your head and, and make sure that, that you apply it, get it under your fingertips because it's the absolute truth. I mean, you can change what I just did with the very first example. I mean, the whole, the whole tenor of the copy changed just by changing one essential word. And then that one word led me to change a few other things, but that's where it starts. So that's a secret, dirty little secret of copywriters is we focus on verbs. And John Carlton's one of the best guys in the world at this. I think he's, he's certainly one of the ones that, 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 uh, that turned me on to how powerful and potent verbs are. Uh, make peace was great. Capels is great. Now I don't expect you to know who these legendary copywriters are necessarily, but you can definitely take what they're, what they've said and what I'm saying and apply it to what you're selling and how you're communicating right now and watch what happens to your open rates and watch what happens to your click through rates when those verbs increase. Yeah. I don't know the, the exact numbers, but, um, I remember, uh, <clears throat> 
I was at John Childers event and our good friend Alex Mondozian did an entire presentation on verbs. He probably was inspired by, by uh, one of the people you're talking about yeah. or possibly you. And, uh, I remember uh, his presentation on this, and one of the examples he used was the Getty, Gettysburg Address, one of the most famous, mm. uh, you know, uh, pieces of literary uh, writing in in modern history. And he uh, said that, it, I, I, I mean, forgive me, but I'm just going to make up from what my memory remembers was mm. something like there was, you know, 117 verbs and only three adjectives, uh, and and we tend as copywriters to get. Uh, to use adjectives a little bit too much, mm -hmm. but it's really uh, the verbs and adverbs that uh, that that work in copy. Yeah, <clears throat> it's one of the best copy dissections I've ever seen. Uh, that 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 talk, and it's very true. If you look at some of the most persuasive speeches ever written, uh, definitely some of the per most persuasive copies, you're going to see an, uh, just a, a massive amount of verbs, a massive amount mm -hmm. of, of verb exchange too. And and John Carlton is famous for saying, never use the same verb twice. Now there's mm -hmm. some exceptions to that. Like for example, if you're saying, if you're tired of gaining weight, uh, there's only so many yeah. different ways you can say gaining weight. Yeah, but, right, but, right. But, but, but yes, yeah, so it doesn't matter if you say it more than, you know, twice, it's not the end of the world. But, but when you're talking about like, like getting someone to see something and that's really what I'd like to circle back and, and, and kind of make a coda for this. If I can, Mike, is that we want to help you generate copy, whether it's through software or whether it's through your own hands that people see and feel versus read. And please fill into what I'm saying here. Um, if you read something I've written and you see it in your mind and you feel it, that is infinitely more powerful than if you just glance over it or if you're checking for bullets or you're skimming the page. I want to create a visceral reaction in you. I want you to feel something specifically. So people have said this many times. Uh, uh, one of my favorite musicians said this. I, I don't care about the hook. I don't care about the melody. I don't care about the lyrics. I care about the goosebumps. I ca That's what I care about. I care mm -hmm. about does this song give you goosebumps? So it's the same thing with, with writing. I only <coughs> care that, yes, we're writing for, for persuasion. We're writing to, to get someone to take an action. But in the process of taking action, are they seeing in their mind images that are much more powerful than anything I could write? So let your let the imagination take control. And, of course, um, t t I will pat Groove Copy Pro on the back here because we have a whole lot of, of terms that are embedded in the copy that that basically trigger the imagination uh, there is called neuro linguistic programming nlp uh, ericksonian hypnosis patterns things like that that do in evoke imagination so I, i'm asking you to think of something i'm asking you to imagine for example something you imagining something is going to give the a result that i can never give if i say i want you to to read what i'm saying about this it goes like this and then this happens and then this happens and this happens well i'm telling you a story and that might be a good story but if i'm saying imagine for a moment if this happened to you what would you yeah. feel picture How picture you? picture that yourself insert right. yourself here right you are going to tell a story that i could never tell and it's going to you're going to sell yourself you're going to and in this case you're going to sell your client or customer on what you're talking about by doing nothing more than saying imagine. <laughs> so we're going to go into all these kind of copy techniques throughout um, um, Copy Wednesdays here. So, but so don't don't freak out. We're not going to cover them all in one day. But uh, th that's just some of the simple things that you can do that really evoke a lot of a lot of uh, reaction and a lot of sales. All right. So back to the software, John. Germ. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, always back in the summer. So, so yeah, so I am basically, I'm ready to take any sort of questions that people have specific to <laughs> group copy pro okay. specific to, uh, we can do it inside the software. We can show it something that somebody needs to see oh, or right, something. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just curious where in context this was here, but uh slap chop, there must've been something that you had said about a good presentation or something. Uh, but uh, certainly a, a great product. All right, let's take that off the screen. I'm going to go back a little bit and see some of the questions we have here. Uh, okay, these were people answering your question. Um, let's see if there's a question. Most uh, Is this included with Groove Platinum? No. Uh, folks, Groove Copy Pro is, uh, is a joint venture with John Benson's uh, copypro.ai. Uh, Groove Copy Pro is a uh, 
uh, partnership white label with that software with additional training on how it pertains to Groove and sessions like this and sessions for customers that are exclusive for Groove. But uh, so you can buy it at um, <clears throat> from John at copypro.ai or you do have to buy it under the label GrooveCopyPro.com uh, where it's still John software with additional stuff from Groove. And you can get more information at GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay. Uh, in my, can I say something to that? Mm -hmm. Um, if I may, um, so <laughs> I gave Mike and Groove the best deal we've given anyone ever and everyone, anyone will ever get on, on our copy pro brand. And we made that decision as a company because we believe in Groove funnels and we believe in Mike. So, um, I'm going to encourage you to go to, to the Groove copy pro.com. Even if I do make, I'm just being blunt here because I think Mike's cool with honesty. I make more money the other way around, but we can actually give you more and we can actually, Mike and I can actually do these because we're going to do, we do, like I said, solo trainings on this stuff. And um, we're, we're going to do that uh, on, on a relatively frequent basis. Um, but uh, also just a lot more, there's a lot more value there. So, yeah. Okay. Somebody says uh, here, I miss getting, Copy Pro at the at the lower price uh, by one day bummer yeah the the best offer we have is at GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay I know it's the lowest price we ever offered price hasn't gone up yet uh, let's see what this question means uh, me too let's ask John for a Black Friday promo <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah I, I I do them sometimes and, and to the gentleman who I, I the, the name went by too fast for me to see uh, ping us at customer service we'll we'll, we'll shoot you over something nice. Um, so this is some sort of a, uh, a neat little, uh, uh, some sort of a special bonus or something that I hate it, but, but we like, like car dealerships run sales. We occasionally run sales and, and it's uh, just as part of running a business, but we always like to try to, uh, let's put it this way. I have yet to have somebody tell me you've under delivered, at least not that I know of. Maybe somebody has, but we want to try to over deliver in every single thing we do. So. All right. So John, I'm not sure if there's a question. I just saw a lot of text with a question mark. So I put it up to attract customers to creating art with me as a coach and teacher to leave a legacy piece to their family using their own family business, spiritual and personal values. What niche is that? So if you're, if you are, are you teaching, I needed more information, Arden. Are you teaching people how to create art? Uh, are, but are are you the coach? Are you an artistic teacher? Because if that's the case, then the niche would be art creation. So um, the fact that they're using their own family, business, spiritual, personal values, that, those are all inside of the the, the, the the what we call primary solutions, primary goals. Um, what they would be inside uh, mythical. There's a lot of myths. So in other words, we bust some myths like you should paint a tree. No, you should use your own family and draw on your own business for, for inspiration. There's a lot of things I could think of off the top of my head that fits really, really well into that. But I, I see that as being art creation as the niche. And I don't know that we have, I'm, I'm not sure that we have it, but, but again, I mean, we have a team that writes these things and I can't keep up with all of them that they're writing. So um, but that's what I would use uh, art, art creation. And, and then you know, as a coach, I would definitely use you know, the, as a coach, I'm here to help you. And that, that would be your title as an art coach. All right. Uh, we have fields for all that, of course. So looks like a technical question here for you, John. I mm -hmm. think this is above me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Does I it have it. any kind of GPT three yeah. slash AI backbone? I've watched the replay many times. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So, so I, I, I'll go down a very, very, I promise everyone it's going to be a very, very small rabbit hole. Uh, we built copy pro from the word go before GPT three was ever even on anyone's, you know, radar at all. And we built it to be completely AI compliant, but from our own internal sources. In other words, we have 700,000 pieces of generated user copy in there that's already answering the questions that GDP3 is trying to answer by scraping the web and by pulling off its own internal database. Well, we've already done that. We've, we've done that for the last five years. So when we came, when it came time to implement actual AI, meaning like external artificial intelligence, which we're doing at the moment, we're using Neo and we're using something that no one else is doing. What we're asking Copy Pro to do is something that no one else is doing. And it's also, unfortunately, it's also the hardest thing for AI to do. And that is not just natural language, but natural inquisition. So if you know about AI, you know, you might know these terms. So to, to ask a, to ask a question and have natural inquisition, meaning the, the I can ask you, um, I can ask what's your favorite color and AI spits back red. 
If I say, what's the favorite color of most men over the age of 45 who suffer from sciatica? Can you imagine how much more difficult that is to answer? Or if I ask them more specifically, what's the number one pain point or the number one goal of a man over 45 who suffers from sciatica? Even just something like that, even saying, what's the primary goal? What's another goal on top of that? That's what a, that's what we are, we are doing, and we are the only company that I'm aware of that's doing it, and it's in the works as we speak. So, Yeah, and the bottom line is it just works. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tech, yeah. tech aside, tech aside, we're, we're using, we're using, we're using HI very well, <laughs> human intelligence, uh, and, and we're using uh, sporadic AI and intel, uh, artificial intelligence, but we didn't want to go down the GDP, GDP route because it's, a, it's, it's quite bloated. <laughs> it's very cool. It's fun to see Jarvis spit out copy, it's but you new. can't use yeah. it. You can't use it. Yeah. You, you can't reuse it. So in other words, yeah. you're not building a, you're not building a niche. You're not building your own library of copy. You don't have control over what you like and don't like in copy pro you do and when ours rolls out it'll be quite a bit different <laughs> all right clive Skorsky asks do you prefer to emphasize the pain or promote the pleasure uh mm -hmm. john from what i've always learned obviously you're the expert i've always heard that people are more motivated to move away from pain than they are towards pleasure mm -hmm. so generally we want to uh we want to focus on the problem agitate solve formula we have to take that little problem, uh, you know, that they have, you know, that little grain of salt, and then we have to turn that into a rock in their foot that's uh, that remind them of the blister and that how you don't even want to get out of bed. Yeah. And so that we have to identify the problem. By identifying the problem, then we say agitate. You know, uh, I always like to use the acne example. Uh, you know, if somebody is searching for your product for acne, even though they're actively looking for that, mm -hmm. you have to remind them about never again will you be embarrassed if somebody's are they looking you in the eye or are they looking at that white head on your face? If you <laughs> yeah, didn't make, yeah. Right. Yeah, if yeah, you didn't yeah. make the sale, are you wondering, you know, did you immediately run to the bathroom to see if, you know, you had pus coming out of your face and uh, you know, um, all those types of things. You have to let people know that this is something that you had in the past, the present, the future, it's going to haunt, haunt you forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the pleasure is relieving yourself from from that pain most people most of the things that we're doing is moving people from a one situation to a better situation so we always have to identify the current situation and just really pour salt in the wound as we say and then there's a couple of uh you know important things i know it's all in your software john you know in your vsls you know mm -hmm. it's not your fault you know got to let people know that this isn't something they're doing wrong they're not alone a lot of other people are are having this problem and, um, you know, as Trump said, only I can fix it, right? Like you have to say, and only this product can solve it. And then you usually talk about your secret sauce, mm -hmm. right? Like what is your USP? What is this hidden fruit that was found in the, you know, the, the, the jungles of, you know, the Amazon jungle <clears throat> in, in Brazil? And, you know, that's what the acai berry was, right? It's this whole story behind the secret sauce mm -hmm. that makes it unique to you. And that's, that's kind of the journey that most copy is going to do, but you start with the problem first, not the, not the pleasure. John, yeah. your thoughts on, on that? I couldn't agree <laughs> more. It's, most of human motivation comes from the id. So uh, I don't like that. Freud got a lot of things wrong. That was one of the things he got right. And the, mm -hmm. the id is 75% of our, of our motivation. And that is all the limbic stuff that screams fear, run, pain, tiger, ouch, you know? Uh, so, so, so if you don't validate. It is, the id is our caveman brain, essentially. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, we're, uh, so the, the id is the, is the I, I think the ego is, is the self. And then the, mm -hmm. the super ego is the super self. And I've always, not to interrupt you, John, but I, <clears throat> I love when you just said id. Um, I heard a great way to look at the, the id, the ego and the super ego. And it's basically that uh, the id is what we're born with. And if we if we were born in a jungle like Tarzan, we would never explore past the id. It's me want food, me steal. Uh, you're mm -hmm. kidding me. I'm going to find a way, kind of like a, mm -hmm. a stray dog until you beat it so much, it finally says, I, I'm going to go away or a fly or a bee. It's going to, it's going to work until it realizes there's more danger for the pleasure. And that's, that's the id. The, the ego is, um, is essentially given to us from society, right? The ego is something mm -hmm. that, uh, that we get by, you know, seeing our brother got, got praised by getting good grades. So we want to, we want to do that, but mm -hmm. it's easier to look at, figure out what the ego is by knowing what the super ego is. 
The super ego is the white thing on our on our shoulder over here, <laughs> the little white angel. The id is kind of like the devil, like just go, hey, I'm at a restaurant, just steal that mozzarella stick off of that guy's <laughs> plate, right? That's the, the caveman part of the brain. Yeah. And the, the, the super ego is the part of us that, that uh, that's where our ultimate ethics are. And so just to summarize this, the job of the ego is to lie to the super ego to satisfy the id. So if that's if if you found uh, you know uh, if you if if you were able to basically um, take one percent uh, you know one one point oh 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 one out of every bank and you found out that your Chase account had that little problem and you can move that money into your bank account in a minute and have fifteen million dollars and it's not going to hurt anybody but it is theft your super ego is gonna say, but that's not your money, you're not allowed to do it. And the id is gonna be like, click that button, nobody's gonna check. The <laughs> ego the ego gets involved and starts negotiating and saying and rationalizes with the super ego to satisfy the id. Well, look, yeah. the bank's not even gonna know it's gonna happen. Right. And I could. they probably ripped people off all their life. Look what they're doing to people with high <laughs> yeah. rates. Yeah. And yeah. I, can, I can donate that money to charity. And yeah. okay, the, the super ego says, okay, as long as you donate to charity, boom, yeah. you do it, you just stole $15 million. But that's that's the job right. of the super ego of the ego. It's always it's always trying to satisfy that caveman brain and yeah. arguing with the ethics uh, that we have. What we truly know is right. <laughs> office space. Uh, that's the one yeah, of the plot right. of office space, which is fantastic. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. And Superman exactly. four, which they bring up in office space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they do, right? Oh yeah, yeah. But uh, it, that, that, that's 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 a great dissection there. And and you know, I call it the lizard brain a lot mm. too. It's, yeah. it's a, so you're. You have to speak to the lizard brain, and, and I'm a big believer in not only speaking to it just for clicks, but also speaking to it for, for actual validation. So it, to validate somebody's pain is not to say necessarily that, oh, you should feel this. It's to say, oh, I understand why you feel this. And this is a, something parents all know this. It's like, oh, I bet that really does feel like it's the end of the world when you scrape your knee. Oh, I bet that really hurts a whole lot, doesn't it? Even though you know that it really doesn't. So the last thing you should say is that, oh, that shouldn't hurt at all. Oh, come mm -hmm. on. You know, this is this is unfortunate what some marketers do without necessarily being so curt about it. Is and, and what we're saying is that that you need to validate the pain, understand it, and then shift the emphasis toward the pleasure. Now, if I can give one technique in here that we're gonna use, I'm we're not we're not we're promised that we're not gonna go into you know 27,000 techniques on every copy Wednesdays here, but um, I teach something called, in fact, my YouTube channel is full of this stuff uh, on, on duality. So when, when you talk about uh, the concept of duality, some people call it push pull. Um, I call it duality, which is the, the framework that says you can speak to all, to, I, I call it both sides of the brain. I'm, I'm not literally, I'm not being literal here, like left and right hemispheres, but I'm saying there's two sides of the brain, if you will, if you, the, the negative and the, and, and the positive, the, the, what I want to call the higher self and the lower self. Let's just go with it that, right? Mm -hmm. And, and you can speak to both at the same time in one freaking sentence. And that way you capture everyone. So if I say something as simple as this, how would you like to obliterate stubborn pockets of fat without ever stepping foot into the gym ever again? That sounds really positive all the way through, right? But it's not. So if I, I said obliterate fat without pain. <laughs> so stepping foot into the gym, that is pain for, for not for me, but for a lot of people that's pain or without ever counting a calorie. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, there's nothing pleasant about counting calories. So, so that is a, that's a push, pull, pull, push type of, type of uh, uh, sentence, but it's duality and you'll mm -hmm. see duality throughout all, all high level copy. And that's how you, you appeal to both sides of the brain. Yeah. One of my, favorite headlines uh, that I usually start with. It's kind of my go-to. I think, I think I'm a little lazy with that. I should probably uh, uh, look sometimes and say, uh, you know, here, here's you know, 17 good headline examples. And I know Groove Copy Pro spits them all out for you and you choose from yeah. them. Uh, but, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, what you just said is the, the really, really good without the really, really bad, yeah. uh, you know, and, uh, and then, you know, usually give like, you know, specific results and specific amount of time. But so, like you said, how to, how to, you know, yeah, lose 17 pounds. This is weak, right? Obliterate would, and all those things would be better, but how yeah, to right. lose, uh, you know, uh, 17 pounds in uh, how I lost. That's always good. How I lost, right? How I lost 17 pounds in six weeks without 
any exercise or giving up any of the foods that I love. Right. right. So right, you know, there you oh, go. Exactly. You, you, you've, you've got the whole brain here. Can I show somebody? I, I, I this is not planned, I, I, but I just thought of something I want to show because people don't know it's in Groove Copy Pro. Can I show, show that one? Yeah. Quick, let, let's, let's share your screen and then I'll pop it on. There we go. Add that screen to the stream. Check this out, guys. You can come down here to headlines and you can get the headline generator. Now the express version just gives you the, it gives you, once you fill out all of your quick start niche, all your headlines will be done here. I'm choosing the more advanced version because we just want to show you what's possible here. Uh, I'm going to come in here and say headlines for, since we're talking weight loss, loss, and I'll use my weight loss niche here. And hit finish. Now what I'm doing here is I'm getting access to the world's most potent proven headline formulas ever written not by me oh well, I, I take it oh, there's one in here written by me but by carlton capels make peace uh you name, we went back all the way to claude hopkins okay all the way back to the to the early 1900s to get these headline formulas and the system i'm going to screw i'm going to shrink the screen just so you can see it more i know that you can't read all the words here but i've got all these different things Positive triggers plus goal, plot, positive triggers plus benefit, negative triggers, duality. Here's my duality, right? Here's exactly what I was talking about here. Avoid this, hero's journey quotes, testimonials, what everyone should know, and on and on. And what's really cool is I can do this and they all rewrite. So I can keep doing this and I can test. Wow. Boom. Uh, let me test that headline, cut and paste into a subject line. Redo so it again. John, what do I want to say here. I want to do this headline. <laughs> as, you, as you're. Do this. You see where I'm saying? Boom. I can just keep regenerating this. So that's kind of cool. So it's right here. Yeah. yeah. Well, everything that you, you did there, I, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call, was these are, were, were things that we had to learn and dig deep, you know, maybe year two of the copywriting or you found it in this book, as you just said, the hero's journey, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or um, uh, what was one of the ones before that? Um, oh, let me see. Uh, let's see. Du duality here uh yeah the duality right yeah. and so th one of the things about that is understanding the concept and mm -hmm. that's what copywriting does you understand the, the the concept right but once you have the concept you still have to do that exercise to get it out of you to be able to say okay what is a good way to do the duality and what i just love about the software is okay it just spits it out for you based on legendary copywriting, it's going to mm -hmm. do it even better than the exercise you can do for yourself. And I'm right. not even going to say right. in most cases, it's coming from legendary copywriters. Obviously, you could wordsmith it after that. But this is this is uh, and one of the things we talked about in the webinar is that not only does this does this give you the output, but it you, you learn copywriting as you go through the exercise of setting up your niche profile and your product mm -hmm. profile. And then you actually see these things and you're like, oh, I didn't even understand there was something called um, why is this happening or, you know, and then you could, as you start doing this, you, these are skills that you're going to pick up for your other, you know, other types of marketing, even speaking on stage. Exactly. Exactly. Now, I'll show you this one just because I think this is really awesome. Um, so uh, for every, uh, for every fitness lover, let's, let's do it that way. So we spent over, we spent, 14 years. Oh, by the way, I, I did over a hundred experts because I wanted to show somebody how not to enter something and I forgot to delete it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do what I do. Don't, don't use your, don't use your actual account for training. Uh, okay. So this is what that's supposed to reason. Sorry. Guys. So we spent 14 years to make sure this worked for every fitness lover. Finally, we're satisfied. And John, can you just blow it up a little bit now? Oh yeah. My uh, bad. I got yeah, it. Thanks. There we go. So these hero journey quotes, we realized that this is one of the most famous, the most uh, uh, proven way of looking at headlines from the 1970s in print ads. And we would notice this all the time. We we're looking through print ads going, oh my gosh, all these print ads are like in quotes. And like, and there was, it, you can hear this, like picture these, uh, I don't know if you're old enough to picture it, but picture like the Volvo. We, we, it took, it took us, you know, 40, 42 tries and, and 122 crash dummies. And finally it's ready. The Volvo, you know, you can hear that mm -hmm. in your head, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we just, that, so it took over 14 years to get proof positive. This worked for any serious fat burner. Now it's ready. Th that that's was written by copy pro, right? So that's what's in there and that's at your fingertips. And you can also do the same thing in case you're wondering 
for subject lines. So you can scroll down here and do the same exact thing and get the best subject lines, the top 100 subject lines that we know convert. So those tools are all at your disposal inside of here, but also just want to give you the techniques as well as we're talking. So anyway, I just want to share that. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, let me get back to us over here. I love that, John. I know, I know that sometimes, um, and I know it's all in the software. I remember hearing something that said something like, um, uh, after after three years, uh, 1,742 split tests and $22 million spent on advertising, mm -hmm. these are, are our best ad campaigns. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who's not going to pay to get to get onto that webinar or opt-in or whatever the case is? Right. So what you just that after 14 years and and so what what do you I what do you categorize that uh that that as uh that was that? under uh heroes it was under a, I think it was under heroes story it's like we we looked at the top whatever for 14 years we studied the top blank and blank and this is what yeah, so I forget that what I called it but uh the the hero stories I believe it was what it was yeah so yeah it's it's here's what we've learned after right and then you put all of your expertise how many years you're doing it if you have two partners you can say combined after 51 years of combined this and that and this much spent and everything like that yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, people love that they love the shortcuts and again this is just one of the things baked into uh into groove copy pro some people saying this is really good software where can i get it uh, if you're just joining us um we're going to be doing Groove Copy Wednesday, free copywriting techniques like this. And with a soft branding for Groove Copy Pro, if you're interested in the software, you can go to GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay and learn all about it. It'll answer all of your questions. And uh, we have uh, Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Uh, she says, uh, oh, my God, this is so good. Thank you for all the amazing tips, John and Hi, Mike. Man. Thank you. <laughs> I got a little shout out there. Um, a lot of people, John, say they didn't know about the headline generator. We're going to try to keep yeah. these going uh, every single week to just an hour, respect everybody's time. John, yeah. I've got a couple of things <clears throat> um, I want to mention uh, that we can tease for what's, uh, what's coming up. As we said, we're going to break down things like uh, headlines, bullet points, mm -hmm. um, uh, compelling guarantees, what is an actual offer, all these different types of things. I did a presentation last week, lasts about an hour. We'll, we'll get it in in the next uh, next weeks coming up. If you're cool with that, John, it's basically, you know, uh, uh, my presentation on, you know, on what is an offer, uh, what, what, what actually is an offer, I think. Uh, many times I talk to people and they're, you know, they say, well, I'm selling this for 497 and essentially that's how they get to their clothes on a webinar. And there's just so much more. There's a lot that I touch on. I think, uh, I think people mm -hmm. enjoy it. So we'll, we'll get Love that it. for everybody. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so many people think it offers a pitch. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, no, yeah. The, the, um, the, you know, basically the, the right presentation is really, uh, does all the selling you know the the when you get to the offer that's just you know the customer should be saying how do i pay you exactly you know, do you yeah, yeah. yeah do you take paypal right you know, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, yeah right you know yeah, where can i worry uh, the money yeah, yeah. yeah and then um i'm gonna uh do something john that i think is going to be very very good it's going to be very very selfish on my part but uh but i think it's going to be something that'll be exciting if you're cool with this so um my brother and i or groove and my brother uh, because a uh, little story, my brother has a school for kids, you know, basically, you know, four months old to, you know, up to five years old or even more for day camp. It's, you know, kind of like a early learning center. So kids, uh, people got to go to work. They send their three year old and their their early learning is going on. Mm -hmm. And it's in Florida. And, you know, as you can imagine, anywhere around the world, uh, you know, COVID just you know destroyed so many businesses, mm -hmm. restaurants and stuff like that. So uh, <clears throat> as this was happening last year. Um, we saw the same thing happen in, uh, in the gyms. And so my wife, Michelle, she's a licensed Zumba instructor. And we were seeing that, um, you know, she pays about 35 bucks. It's 35, let's just say 35 to 50 bucks a month, depending on what she wants to get from Zumba. Uh, a licensed Zumba instructor pays Zumba every month to keep their license active. And by doing that, they can walk into LA fitness and say, Hey, you need anybody to teach Zumba. And at that point you either pay the gym for the for the studio or you split the money with the gym but zumba doesn't get any of that money they get all their money uh basically you know they sell clothing they have a zumba convention but essentially they have a continuity program by licensing instructors and they have several hundred thousand instructors all over the world 
Um, they don't allow those instructors, or last year they didn't, to stream or be on video because they were afraid that if somebody can go watch a Zumba session at YouTube, then they're not going to need to go to the gym. So you'd lose your license if you did that. <clears throat> so Zoom, uh, COVID hits and suddenly every gym across the world shuts down and Zumba starts getting emails in the tens of thousands. Hey, can you pause my billing because I can no longer teach? We're all in lockdown. Mm -hmm. Zumba saw their, their company going out of business overnight. And <clears throat> so they immediately said, okay, you can stream, but you can't record and you can't put your, your recordings on demand, can't use YouTube Live, but you can use Zoom. So the very first week I see uh, Michelle taking somebody's Zumba class online, you know, their face is kind of like, like this and they don't, you know, they're stepping away and they're not in the camera. They're putting their phone, they're playing play on Spotify and putting their phone next to the speaker and it just mm -hmm. sounded like crap. And they're dancing in their living room. The very next week, uh, they've realized how to get the music to play from their laptop. The very next week after that, they figured out they could buy a Logitech C920 and it looks a little bit better. Mm -hmm. The week after that, they're wearing AirPods. The week after that, they took the couch out of the background. The week after that, they now have a backdrop. <clears throat> and the next thing you know, I noticed a very, very mature community starting. Mm. Uh, and, and as you know, you're in, in, uh, from the health world. If I ever spoke to my personal trainer or anything, you know, they'd love what I do. As soon as I say, hey, you can get on, ah, you know, no, like I'm not techie. As soon as the right. world was forced to go to virtual, like businesses mm -hmm. had to do it, Zoom exploded. Um, this world exploded. And so I saw uh, an opportunity there. I said, well, there's some things that they're doing with Zoom, but it's not a business around a fitness mm -hmm. instructor. So August of last year, you know, when, when I saw my brother's business going down the drain, I said, hey, I have an idea and we'll develop it, but I'll need you to help me run the company. And then we bought the best domain in the world for 2,500 bucks. You're not even going to believe this. We actually bought and owned the domain fitclass.com. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll just I'll show my screen here That's for a awesome. second, John, and I'll I'll, I'll uh, tie this all in what this means. So let's uh, just make this uh, large here. I'm going to go to fitclass.com. Yes, we own that. And this site that you're seeing right here, John, uh, I want you to kind of picture. Um, I want you to picture it's Twitch for fitness instructors. So it's a it's a marketplace where you can it's a social um, a, a social networking platform meets Zoom. So as you have Instagram, you might have forty thousand followers. You'll have followers here, and mm -hmm. people are going to go in and they're going to see this person's doing a yoga session, this person's doing mm -hmm. uh, a Brazilian jiu jitsu, this person's doing dance fitness, and you can grow it by posting it on Facebook and all this different type of stuff. You can kind of imagine a streamer plays games and other people are watching. And what I noticed from Michelle, um, three things that are very, very different than a live session. Number one, <clears throat> um, two thirds of the cameras are on, are on. One third of the cameras are off. That means people are sitting or watching and they don't wanna be on camera. What does mm -hmm. that tell you about the people that don't wanna go to the gym? This is an outlet for people to say, I can come learn without having to feel body shamed and I can mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. and when I feel better, I can put my camera on. Mm -hmm. The other out of the two thirds, so the, uh, the other one third of the people that do have their camera on, what you're seeing is elderly people extremely out of shape, sitting in a chair like this going, <laughs> and this is this is a person that yeah. wouldn't really want to go to the gym. Uh, and in fact, they probably have their camera off and it's like, come on, put your camera on. I'm going to do it. And they're there and they're working out. And then the other third of the people are people like Michelle that, you know, they're out there in their yoga outfits and they're, and they're jamming in there and they're doing the Zumba. And when I saw that, I said, this is this is the future. There's going to be an opportunity for you to be able to be an influencer and be able to just go live and have 1700 people on. And then what we do is we have a built in tipping system. Obviously you can have paid classes, but we're really pushing people to do it free and go, Whoo, all right, three songs in seven to go. If you like what you're seeing right now, do me a favor, hit that tip button, whatever you want to give me a dollar, $3, anything like that. And we're going to connect merchandise and the t-shirts and all that different type of stuff. So that's, yeah. that's fit yeah. class. So, uh, so the reason I bring that up, uh, now is we're getting to the point and we realize we have two types of copy that's needed. 
Like if you go to Fiverr, right, you need uh, you need copy for the people looking for a pro uh, for a project, and you need copy for people that are uh, that that want to do gigs, right? Or if mm -hmm. Voices.com, a voice oversight, they need mm -hmm. one. They need to write copy for people that are looking for the service, and then they need copy to say, "Hey, are you a voiceover artist?" So uh, we need to write copy for the front end of the page uh, for uh, for the uh, to entice fitness instructors to get on the platform. And then we need copy for people that want to use the site. You know, you know, are you tired of going to the gym and all that different type of stuff? So what I was hoping to do, if it's cool with you, uh, we, and, and, uh, and, and mm -hmm. I think there'll be a lot of learning there, is we get my brother on, mm -hmm. and uh, me, you, and my brother, we go through the, the software kind of like we did for a person that won that thing. And we just go in and we say, okay, week one, let's talk about to the fitness instructor. What is their pain? What is their, you know, what are they trying to sure. achieve? And we'll, we'll build yeah. it out. And yeah. I think it'll, it'll serve us selfishly, right? But yeah. we get to have you there. And I think yeah. it'll, it'll show this software working for a crazy niche fitness meets meets software and we'll get to write copy uh, and watch it in the software. And I think if that's cool with you, I'll get my brother and we'll do it. Uh, next Wednesday and the next Wednesday after that. I'd love it. I'd love it. And I'd love to hear what everyone else thinks about the idea of watching us create a, basically we call it a quick start niche from scratch. And since that is an area of expertise that I mean, it's very easy for me to write in that. Yeah, right. I've written, yeah. written quite a few of those, but also, but for fitness instructors, a little bit different than, than personal weight loss, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it would be great. And then people could see who are coaches. Like we had mm -hmm. somebody on that was a coach. It was an art coach mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and yeah, you can see it from how I would frame this as, as coaches and yeah, that'd be awesome. So I, I love it. In fact, we, we can make this a, we can make this a habit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that'll, that'll be great. Uh, absolutely. And John, would you want me to fill out the his and her and pronouns and Mr. and all that and get that stuff? Yeah. You know, the first yeah. block. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll get the first block or two set up. Yeah. We'll show people what that is, but we don't want to waste 20 minutes, you know, on, uh, on that. But yeah, it's that, that, that's the easy part. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of your offer and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do all that. And so that, that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, that, that'll be great. Um, how's everybody feel about that? I'd love to see some comments on, you know? Yeah. So they got about a 15 second delay. So if uh, you yeah. guys think that's going to be a good exercise for you to yeah. see the software in action and actually, uh, see how somebody, uh, Hey, sounds nice, uh, over here. Uh, that's uh, Cecilia. Yeah. She's breaking my heart. Uh, Gab uh, uh, Gabriel says that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, e uh, email copy. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll go over uh, oh, email yeah. copy yeah. for you. Martin says yes. looking forward. Yeah. Martin, how are you? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Kathy Walls just saw Kathy in Orlando. That would be cool to watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, uh, we're you know we're excited about this Fit Class project. Um, there there's a couple of things going on in the world with Class Pass and. Um, mindbody.com are just getting into this model and they got it all wrong. Trust me when I tell you. So, mm -hmm. uh, what we, you know, we, we think it can be good because, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of people now that are, that are doing this using zoom. So if we give them a platform that's similar, mm -hmm. but, uh, but has some built in marketing. So looking forward to where that's going to go. I'm I'm excited about groove Sweet. copy Wednesdays, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to meet, yeah, yeah. Uh, every single Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern yeah. time. We're going to try to do it come hell or high water. As I said, John and I will be here together 90% of the time. If one of us is away or traveling, the other will pick up and in rare cases we'll, we'll cancel. And if we cancel, we'll move it to another day during the week. But we, uh, I'm excited about this, John. As you know, I am too, uh, man. marketing, <laughs> marketing is, uh, is just one of my passions and being able to talk, it, talk about it with you puts a smile on my face. And I yeah. think it's going to make me a better marketer. As uh, Stephen Covey says, same here. In the seven habits of highly effective people, habit number seven is sharpen the saw. So you've, you, know, you've, you know, you know, always got to uh, keep keep learning. And I'm excited to work with you uh, going forward with this. Same here, my man. Same here. <clears throat> All right, everybody, in the chat, do us uh, a favor and uh, uh, tell John uh, a big thank you and that you appreciate him doing this. This was his idea to do this, and I'm. I'm I'm honored to do this every single week with him. Uh, we're going to see you next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. It's just going to show up uh, live in your Facebook. In the next coming weeks, we're going to have a website for Groove Copy Wednesdays where you could uh, leave your email, get notification, notifications, text, mes text message updates, all that type of stuff we're going to mm -hmm. be building out. But you'll always be able to find the replays 
um, uh, right after, just right inside of the Facebook groups and the YouTube channels. And um, that's it. A lot of questions I'm seeing in Groove Copy Pro, uh, like what is the price and all that. You can go to GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay. It'll be a full demo and it'll uh, show you the special offer that we have there and answer all of your questions in a very long FAQ. GrooveCopyPro.com forward slash replay. With that said, John, thank you very much for making it out today and I'll be seeing My you pleasure. next Wednesday. Awesome, Mike. Right. Look forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody.